We all love delicious thick yogurt, especially with a sprinkling of fresh fruit and our favorite cereal. For non-vegans, there are dozens of store-bought yogurt brands on the market, some of them of very high quality. Since there is so much competition between dairy yogurt brands, prices tend to be reasonable. But if you are on a vegan diet, your yogurt options become limited, especially if you don't live in the US or the UK. While many grocery stores in the UK and US, especially in large cities, sell a wide variety of dairy-free options, good quality vegan yogurt is hard to find in other countries or smaller towns. So what do we do? We make our own vegan soy yogurt. Let's make our own low-cost, high-quality, 100% vegan yogurt. Stick around and find out how to make vegan yogurt without a starter. Awesome trick for 2023. But before we get going, actually making anything, the question is, how do we make our own yogurt? What is the best raw non-dairy ingredient to make yogurt from? You can create your own rich non-dairy milk yogurt at home using any type of commercial vegan milk. But the advantage of homemade milk is that you will end up with a quality yogurt that sets correctly and consistently. Commercial vegan milk doesn't contain enough protein and its many additives and sugar might prevent the yogurt from forming the way it should. Making thick and creamy homemade soy yogurt is a cinch and creating it yourself has a ton of benefits like you get to choose all the ingredients, avoid all the sugar and preservatives plus you save a ton of money. In this video we go through the process of making dairy free vegan yogurt using soybean milk. In this recipe we will make and use soy milk but you can also use any store-bought non-dairy milk like coconut milk, almond milk or any other nut or vegan milk. Using high-fat non-dairy milk like coconut, cashew or soy milk results in thicker, firmer Greek yogurt. So why use soybeans for milk? It comes down to cost and availability. In North America, quality soybeans are cheap and widely available. It might be that coconuts or cashews are cheaper and easier to find in your country. When you prefer a lighter, more fluid yogurt, you can use lower density milk like almond or rice milk. However, most cereals have a fat and protein content that is way too low, making them no good for yogurt making. Whatever sort of non-dairy milk you pick, check it is additive free and sugar free or even better make your own as we do in this yogurt recipe ok that sells it soybeans are your better pick for making your vegan milk and your yogurt now in this video we show you how to make the milk and, and 4 different ways to make the yogurt if you ever get lost in the video just go back and watch it again you can also check the recipe in our website and even print it if you so prefer link in the description Soy milk is a great option to make tofu, vegan yogurt, or just as a drink. Top scientists finally reveal the reason why you are struggling to lose weight. Make sure to look for the Icaria Lean Belly Juice link in the description. If you buy the product through our link, we get a small commission that way you can support our work in this channel. Soy milk is a great option to make tofu, vegan yogurt, or just as a drink. And it's delicious, inexpensive, and a health-conscious alternative to dairy, and uncomplicated. Soybeans and water only. That's it. Producing soy milk involves blending water and soybeans to make a creamy, milk-like liquid. Smooth milk is the result since the technique separates the insoluble fiber from the soluble soybean protein. You can easily make plain soy yogurt at a much lower cost if you buy soybeans in bulk. You will enjoy a delicious, healthy snack at a lower per unit price than any commercial brand. There is much talk about non-GMO or organic soybeans. 
don't fret too much over. Try to get organic soybeans from a reputable source, but try not to pay too much. Makes no sense to overpay, especially if you're trying to save by making your own vegan yogurt. So, you got your quality soybeans and you're ready to roll. Let's get down to the nitty gritty and get our raw milk done for the yogurt recipe. Okay, you're gonna need one half cup of soybeans, four cups of water for processing. If you want more soy milk, just double or triple the above amount, but for your initial test run, stick to the above figures. First of all, soak the soybeans overnight at room temperature in two to three cups of water. Next day, set aside four tablespoons of the water where you soak the beans. This will be your yogurt starter. Rinse the soybeans, then discard the water. Peel off as many of the skins as possible. Pour four cups of very hot water and the soybeans into your blender. Turn on your blender and run it until you get a smooth mix. Use cheesecloth or a nut milk bag to strain the blended mixture. You might not be aware that yogurt stutters are needed to make yogurt if you're new to yogurt making. Like sort of bread, soy milk turns into yogurt by leaving active bacteria. Everyone has personal preferences. However, we would prefer not to purchase stutters for the following reasons. Live cultures ship over long distances. This is environmentally unfriendly. Stutters can get expensive too. A little packet of yogurt stutter or a probiotic capsule bottle can go for over $15 plus shipping. If you don't purchase a yogurt stutter culture, you have two options. You could use plain yogurt, maybe coconut or almond yogurt as a stutter, or use soy soaked water as your stutter. Soy soak water is the starter we'll be using in our recipes because it means you will not be spending any money on a starter. Aside from the cost of soybeans, you will get free vegan yogurt. Now let's get around to the four different ways you can make vegan yogurt. Right off the bat, I recommend the fourth method, Instant Pot, which has worked the best for us. It also depends on what kitchen equipment you have and how much yogurt you want to make in one run. Anyway, here we go. First, we will share the slow cooker method, then the oven method, later the yogurt maker method, that is the easiest procedure. Finally, we go into detail on how to make vegan yogurt with the instant pot method, our preferred and recommended method. For the slow cooker method, heat the milk in your slow cooker on high setting until it boils. The milk should reach at least 180 Fahrenheit 83 Celsius, so any bad bacteria dies off. Then turn off the crock pot and let it cool off. When the milk has cooled down to at least 108 Fahrenheit 42 Celsius, mix in your starter. If you stir in the starter when the milk is too hot, it might kill the starter culture. Here is where a kitchen thermometer comes in handy. The right temperatures are very important in yogurt making. Although the waiting period is approximately 15 hours, the hands-on time is only 5 minutes. I highly advise spending a few moments straining this yogurt through 3 to 4 layers of cheesecloth. That way you will end up with a creamier and yummier yogurt. Stick your creation in the fridge for at least 8 hours and then mix in your favorite fruit or cereal. The oven method might be more convenient for you as nearly everyone has an oven at home. Preheat your oven to 200 Celsius 400 Fahrenheit then turn it off. While you're preheating the oven, boil your milk on the range and then let it cool off down to 108 Fahrenheit 42 Celsius. Then stir in the yogurt starter mix. Place your yogurt jars on a baking sheet on the top shelf with the oven slide bulb on. If you have a gas oven, see if it has a pilot you can light on. Let your yogurt sit for at least 12 hours. 
do not open the oven door to prevent heat loss. Make sure the oven temperature isn't above 115 Fahrenheit or the starter culture might die. A kitchen thermometer is a must, so you get your temperatures just right. After 12 hours, pull the yogurt out, get rid of the excess liquid, strain the yogurt to make it thicker and refrigerate it for 8 hours or more. Your yogurt is ready to eat along with your favorite fruit or cereal. Since you can control what goes into the recipe, homemade yogurt will contain much less sugar than store-bought yogurt. Electric yogurt makers have reusable jars and environmental plus, far better than using all of those plastic disposable yogurt tops. The yogurt maker has the most consistent temperature so it is the easiest to use. My problem with yogurt makers is that it takes half a day to produce a small yogurt batch, not enough if you have a large family with teens. The yogurt that took you one day to make will last 15 minutes, ouch! But if you're in a rush to make fast yogurt only for yourself, it might work for you. If you want to enjoy the ease and quickness of a yogurt maker and you're okay with getting small amounts of yogurt, the procedure is the same as the crock pot or oven method above. The steps to follow are similar for most automatic yogurt makers with individual glass or plastic containers. However, take the time to read your machine's booklet for specific instructions. Top scientists finally reveal the reason why you are struggling to lose weight. Make sure to look for the Icaria Lean Belly Juice link in the description. If you buy the product through our link, we get a small commission that way you can support our work in this channel. Instant pot yogurt making is our favorite method. You can make larger amounts of yogurt in an instant pot with a yogurt making setting and the results are also consistent. An instant pot is worth the price if you want decent amounts of yogurt made right from day one. It's easy for your yogurt adventures to fail if you try to pull it off by playing guessing games to get the right temperature for the fermentation process. But if you use an instant pot with a yogurt maker setting, your problems are solved as the pot has the right temperature right from the get-go. No guessing or trial and error. An instant pot ticks all the boxes for yogurt making. To start with, an instant pot is affordable. The instant pot is one time cost. And you can use it also for multiple cooking needs. Also, an instant pot uses less energy than any oven. Another reason to use an instant pot is that it is easy to use and doesn't need to be manually reheated or washed over. Making yogurt in an instant pot makes a lot of sense when you have a large family with teens because you can produce a large quantity of yogurt in a container that is simple to keep in the fridge. No need for extra equipment like thermometers, glass jars or strainers. Ok, so here is what you need to make yogurt in your instant pot. One quarter of the homemade soy milk you obtain in the first step. 3 tablespoons of the soaked water you save when you soak your soybeans to make the soy milk. A pinch of salt. So you got everything ready? Use a quarter of the milk you made in the first step. Boil your milk and then let it cool off down to 108 Fahrenheit, 42 Celsius. If you want to cheat and not make the milk, just pour an unopened quart bottle of store-bought soy milk into your instant pot. No boiling is needed. Add 3 tablespoons of the soybean soaked liquid you save before as the starter. Once you have made the first batch, you can save a cup of this yogurt as a starter. Stir the milk starter mix very well remembering to add the salt. Set your instant pot to yogurt. 15 hours later you'll find gorgeous creamy vegan soy yogurt. Strain the yogurt using the provided screen to get rid of the excess liquid. Refrigerate for 8 hours. Add your favorite fruit or cereal. Enjoy! Hope you found a method you liked among the ones we shared to make lots of yummy vegan yogurt. 
enjoy and thanks for watching